Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning in to my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and today, especially for Halloween, we are obviously going to do a new zoo tour with a spooky staff. <laughs> And I can't stop laughing because of all the wolves in the background already. <laughs> and in today's video, we're going to check out Haunted Hallow made by Accidentally Gaming. Thank you so much, Accidentally Gaming, for sharing your two to us for a showcase on the channel. Really do appreciate it. And if you all like to see more of Accidentally Gaming and the cool video he made himself of this zoo, I will make sure to link his YouTube channel in the description of this video. So definitely make sure to check him out there. And if you have a finished zoo you would like me to showcase on the channel as well, then please do make sure to read the description of this video of how you can send me your finished zoo. And who knows, I might be able to check out your zoo as well on the channel in the future. Now, without further talking, let's go and check out Haunted Halo made by Accidentally Gaming. And uh, oh boy, am I excited to see the wolves that are just howling in the distance. Now, I am not entirely sure if this is the right uh, night setting to check this one out, but because of Halloween, I was like, you know, you did do a lot of work with the lighting. So I think that we should check this zoo out like this, but I have no idea if this is the entrance. Is this the, <laughs> is this the entrance? Because oh, I think it actually is. Oh, look how cool. Oh, I love this archway. That is such a cool entrance. Look at that, all these pumpkins and stuff. Oh my god, do you guys hear those holes in the background? It's so funny. <laughs> but oh man, this is looking so cool. I am definitely... Oh, also, these, uh, these uh, leaf patches and stuff on the floor. This is absolutely incredible. Oh, look at that. This looks so cute. Oh, definitely a really nice Halloween vibe we got in here, guys. This is incredible. I oh, love this as well. All these pumpkins and stuff. Now, I'm not really sure there could be some blueprints in here. Like, you were pretty fast with sending this suit to me. And I was like, okay, this one is just perfect no matter what to create a video on Halloween. So, yes, this, uh, but, but it could be that there are maybe some blueprints in here of uh, Frontier, but I, I don't dare to say, but it all looks super good. And the lighting looks just incredible. Look at this, this is a raccoon habitat. Oh wow, wait, is that a statue? Oh wait, <laughs> it's a block of eyes. <laughs> oh wow, oh look at this. Oh, I'm so happy with this time setting because it looks so beautiful, like not exactly nighttime and not exactly daytime. It's just a perfect mixture. Look at that moon. Oh, wow, this is incredible. Oh, look at this, all these graves in here. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I love this, that you have like this, this gate right over here. These gates around here also look really nice. Like, it definitely works super... Oh, wait, there's a pumpkin ball. <laughs> it works super well for the, uh, the fences of your habitat. Look how awesome this looks, you guys. With, like, the graveyard right over here. And then there's, like, this little church in the background. Whoa, this is looking so good. Absolutely amazing. And so creative. Uh, so where shall we go? Like, there's a lot of guests going that way. I, I feel like we should go and follow this side. So we have the Wombat Habitat right over here. Look at that. Oh, I'm definitely getting some uh, Planet Coaster vibes here. And I absolutely don't mind. I really do love it. This is looking so cool. We have a common Wombat walking around here. It's a little harder to see and enjoy the animals in this time of, uh, of night, but obviously, as always, you can download the zoo yourself from the Steam Workshop with the link in the description. Look at this, how awesome this looks. You can download it from the Steam Workshop. Don't forget to rate it if you like what you're seeing right now. Definitely go and just visit that page and leave a thumbs up for this awesome work to get into these Halloween vibes today. This is just 
freaking incredible. Look at that. Oh man, that castle looks so good. I like this. I like how you use these roots here. Nice viewing here onto some shops and stuff. Uh, so we have a bat cave right over it. Oh, you see how cool this is underneath the castle. And with all these roots here. Oh, I love how you did that. That looks incredible. So we have a bat cave. Let's go in. Look how awesome this looks already. We have the walkthrough exhibit. Some nice rock work here and a lot of bats, which is just, oh, I love the bats. The more I see them, the more I love, love, love the bats. It's just so good. Oh, there's so many of them right over here as well. They're just so well made and like the, the squeezy sounds that they make. Oh, who doesn't love the bats? Tell me in the comments down below. Who is just like me, like pleasantly surprised about these bats? Man, this is so good. You really did a fantastic job here, Accidentally Gaming. All right, so let's go up right over here and let's go to the castle. The lighting is so good. Oh, there we go. There we go. Some Tim Rolves, you guys. I didn't hear them anymore, but they are definitely there. Oh, there's a cave viewing here. Oh, that's awesome. What is that wolf doing? Oh, it's just sniffing. I, I don't know about you guys, but I feel like the sniffing is happening more frequently. I don't know. Like in the beginning, I was like, yeah, well, I never see them sniff. Oh, oh. Are you going to start anything? Oh no, it doesn't look like it. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I see animals sniff onto things a lot more often now. And uh, that's a good thing. Like, I actually was like, wait, they added anything like that into the game? And then I never saw it. <laughs> oh, look, they're playing. Oh, I love that. Oh, but this is such a cute habitat. Look at this, how beautiful it all looks. It's such a different experience to uh, visit a zoo at this time of day, night. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, that's such a beautiful viewing from here. Oh, that's incredible. I do hope, like, normally I would say, okay, I've heard the wolves now. <laughs> but I do hope that we will hear them again. Because especially... In this Halloween zoo, I think some wolves in the background sound just freaking amazing. Oh, look at this. You did such a fantastic job on this castle. Really, really stunning work. Oh, we have a striped skunk right over here. Look at this. Cute little habitat. Some nice fencing right over here. Oh, look how you did this with the... Oh, I like that. I like how you did this with the with the tree just hanging over a little bit. It's in the small little details, guys. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, ma'am. <laughs> I just can't help myself. Look at this. The viewing is so spectacular right over here. Really fantastic work. So when we just follow this path we might just go to the other side that other path <gasps> what is this there's a restaurant building in here even oh look how beautiful that look be looks behind the glass that's amazing oh that works so well is there actually also like a seating area somewhere around here then did you somewhere squeeze in some tables oh look at that Oh, this is just so beautiful as well. Oh, you did such a great job on the lighting. Wow, I'm so impressed by this. This looks so good. I actually wonder if Frontier added any uh, like sound effects. I know they added like uh, like music like they do every time, but like some extra spooky sound effects. I don't think they did. Oh, wow. The viewing is so beautiful from here, but I can't get over this castle. It's so good. Like, it really is. 
I love it that you added these tables right over here. It's a pity that no guest is using it, but that's probably due to my uh, sandbox settings. So that guests are not even hungry <laughs> or something like that. That could be, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, wow. This looks, oh, what is looks so good. Uh, where do we go down? Oh, that's, that's around here. Oh, wow. Just look at that. <gasps> Oh man, it's gonna be a hard one to choose where to make a screenshot. Like, oh man, I have so many favorite spots already here. <laughs> How freaking amazing. Right, okay, let's follow this path. Oh, this is the other side of the bat cave. We came out of there. Oh man. Beautiful waterfall on that side. Oh look, the red fox right over here. It has like this haunted mansion. Oh wow, this is so good. Oh, what a fantastic way of creating a zoo with the animals of the Twilight Pack like this. Really such an amazing job. So if we follow here, we have some t little toilet building. Also very cute. And then what is this why are there so many guests here oh, look at this. but are these just exhibits are you telling me there are so many guests interested look how beautiful this looks by night though oh wow i had no idea how awesome this looks at night time Whoa, like, <laughs> I, I really had no idea. I'm, I'm like speechless here. Like, the lighting in these exhibits looks so freaking good. Oh, I'm so impressed by it. Oh, you also want to build, by the way, but I'm just a little bit speechless. Like, I never look at these things at night. And I feel like I've really missed out on this beautiful lighting of the exhibits. They look incredible. Man, this is such a cool idea. With a, a whole piece of land around the haunted house. Oh man, this is so cool. Oh, you even used uh, some mushrooms right over here. Look how awesome this looks with the castle in the back. Wow. <laughs> this is so cool. I am so happy that you sent this zoo to us on time to do, especially for Halloween. Look at this! Pumpkin farm! This is incredible! Oh my gosh! Look at this scarecrow right over here. This is fantastic. You are really so creative that you made this in only a few days. With the new Twilight Pack, wow, props to you, like, this is such a fantastic and amazing idea. And I like it, like, we did the uh, the castle as well from uh, Plastic Swans on the channel, if you have not seen that one yet, definitely go and check that one out as well. But you can tell the difference, like, this one is definitely more Halloween-ish uh, styled, spooky styled, and uh, that one is more, like, gothic themed if i may call it that way so it's just really cool to see two different ways of using the twilight pack and uh yeah i i i am just really speechless this this looks so incredibly cool and uh i i highly recommend you guys to just visit the steam workshop item and just go there and and at least give that thumbs up download it yourself if you also want to want to check it out at daytime i think it's definitely well worth it as well but thank you so much again accidentally gaming for sending this to us really appreciate it really enjoyed it for a little special on halloween and it's it's just very inspiring and super creative so thank you so much for that and to everyone watching right now please leave something nice for accidentally gaming in the comments down below leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already and yeah i just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one thank you guys so much for watching bye guys